So we got two people in here. Cool. I'm trying to get the box open. <clears throat> Hey, Sandy and Adele, I got a shelf. I got to try and assemble. I'm trying to get the box open. That was my foot. Trying to cut all the tape without Little Miss is over here trying to eat the tape. Oh, I'm not doing anything today. I'm doing nothing. I got this at five below, which is no longer five below. Now it's you can go through the sign that says five below and it says something about two, five, and ten because they've got stuff like a lot of their electronic stuff, like phones and tripods and whatnot, are like five fifty-five. Oh, and it's a nice metal shelf. This ought to be nice and sturdy. Yeah, I'm not sure I trust a little fur the furry little terrorist's help. Oh, man. Okay. Look at the bag of nuts and bolts. Holy hell. I'm going to be assembling this thing for the next four hours. <sighs> Max is in the window judging me. I hope this thing comes with instructions. I haven't found any yet. What are you guys up to today? Got any fun projects going on? Oh, that was a horrible noise. So what are you crocheting, Adele? There's no instructions. They think I'm smart or something? Wait. This came delivered at the same time. Okay, this is not from the same company. This is fabric swatches. Which is not. We'll look at that later. There's no instructions. Oh, I love Amigurumi stuff. And what is an adventure blanket, Sandy? You're uncrocheting it? Isn't that called frogging? She's little. She's eating the tape.
There's a massive bag of screws. There's no instructions. <laughs> I think these are the feet. Seriously? Well, we're going to experiment. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Becca. Oh, I remember you telling, talking about the blanket thing, or the, the dice. I thought that was a neat idea. And I am going to be getting my own dice. There's not even a picture. Okay, where's the phone? You know, we're going to have to give Noni Mae some grief because it's my second life and she still hasn't shown up. See if I can find a picture of the shelf. Well, I got a tiny picture of the shelf. Okay. In my email, I don't know if you can. It's not gonna show it. There's a tiny bitty picture. Let me. Oh, I don't want to do the that part yet. go to the website I ordered it from so I can look at my get a bigger picture of it Sure, Sandy. Thanks for stopping in. Go back to the tiny little picture. That'll be good enough. Hi, Chop Dan. I got my shelf, and it didn't come with instructions. There's like three million pieces.
in my last or my first live stream, I meant to, you know, you could schedule it to happen in a um like in future time. And I meant to do that for my first one because I was gonna wait till everyone else's was done and I hit the wrong button and made it immediate and every people were in there before I could cancel it. And craving crochet, you can go ahead and just listen in the background. I am oh yeah, not a piggy bank. I got plenty of nuts and bolts though. Hi, breathing nurse. That's Okay. Well, at least there's not washers. It's just nuts and bolts. <laughs> oh, I need to get a cup. Hang on. It's something to contain all the bolts so they don't go exploring everywhere. think that while overwhelming this might actually be easier to figure out than I thought but still no instructions not even a picture hi Madonna Okay, having a tool set doesn't help if you can't get the tool out. There we go. Did I miss natural coming in? Natural way, there you are. Trying to get this just tight enough so it won't go flopping around everywhere. Madonna, how much have you made to your in your piggy bank so far? Is it coming at a decent? You know, I mean, I know it's going to be slow going, but you know, do you think that you'll be able to cash out like once a month, once every couple months, or just you don't know, have a clue yet? Slow. Yeah. But still, that's. Ten dollars that you didn't have, um, you know, a couple months ago. Natural way, I am. I got a shelf in the mail, or I re I have my insurance is Blue Cross Blue Shield, and they have this program called Well on Target that you earn reward points for doing healthy things. 
And I'd had Blue Cross Blue Shield in the past. And then, you know, of course, it went to different insurances. There for a while, didn't have any insurance. So it didn't work the program. Because um, I figured you couldn't do the program when you were, didn't have Blue Cross Blue Shield. When I got my insurance started again this month, um, I logged back into Blue Cross Blue Shield and it paired up with Google Fit, Google Health, whatever they call it. And it went back and and gave me points for every activity I had done since the last time it had synced with my information. So I jumped from like 900 points to 19,000. And so I cashed in for a shelf. It's got um, seven shelves. And um, a tomorrow will be, I get, it's supposed to deliver a rolling cart so I, I can take on the bus. So this came in the mail. I'm trying to assemble it, and there's no instructions. And the only picture I have is itty bitty um, that's in an email I got. But I absolutely love anything that I can get for free or for a discount. And there are things that I do that, <coughs> excuse me, like, okay, Google is already tracking. If you have Android, Google's tracking your data. If you have an app, an iPhone, then um, Apple's tracking your data. I mean, we're being tracked. They're using our information no matter what. And that's just how it is. Oh, so I figure if they're using my information, I may as well, you know, make money off of it. So I, I will sell my, my data online. Now, as far as selling my data, it's not like my name and, you know, private information. It's like my connection speed, like how fast is, is my phone connect? How well is my connect phone connecting to the internet? Um, you know, am I having dropped calls, lag time, things like that? And if they want to track what websites I go to, they're going to see that I hang out on YouTube almost, you know, almost 24 seven. Cause I even have YouTube playing when I'm sleeping, but I've got, um, an app on my phone called it's in, from MB. That's the mobile mirror. And it on one of my phones, I get $50 a month. Cause I have it. Once I had installed on a phone, I don't ever get rid of that phone. Even if the phone doesn't have service anymore. Because if I connect to Wi-Fi, it still counts. So one phone earns me like $50 a month, and the rest of them earn me like maybe 5 or $10 a month. Because I've got one, two, three old phones, and then my four old phones and my current phone. So, um, but that app pretty much pays for my cell phone bill each month. And... This is for my insurance just for doing tracking healthy things. Like I get 10 points a day uh, from this thing just for logging that I brush my teeth. So, um, you know, or if I, if I track what I eat, I get point reward points and I'm not in the hole. So I do stuff like that and I get, you know, virtual visas that I use to pay my phone bill. And Google itself actually has this program. I mean, it's called Google Opinion Rewards. I can earn um, credit for stuff on Google Play. And also, they have a browser extension I put on my computer that I earn $2 a week just for having it on there. Okay, the one on my phone is called um, Mobile Performance Meter. And it's by EMBE, E-M-B-E-E. -E -E. Hi, EB's Crochet. But if, if you just go, if you look up, uh, go to Google Play and look up E M B E E. That's the name of the, the company, but it's the mobile performance meter. And the one that I have 
the phone that had that gets me 150 points. I lucked out getting that much. The rest of my phones only get like five or 10 points a day, but still that adds up and that ends up being, you know, free money. Cause I mean, honestly, five bucks helps out a lot. And the one from Google is Google opinion rewards and also screen wise meter. And if you do stuff, like if you track the food that you eat, there's another one. It's a very slow earner. It's called um, Achievement. And you, I take that one, and I basically, I just connected Google Fit and, or Google Health, whatever it is, Samsung Health, and my fitness pal to him, and I never mess with it. And once you, you get points for logging your food, for being active. So like when I walk to catch a bus, I get points for, you know, walking to catch a bus. And when I get up to, I think that one, that was a super slow earner. I think it up to like 10,000 points, but I get 10 bucks at that point. But I don't ever have to do anything with it. I just set it up initially and then no mess with it. Hacks, I don't know what you're about to do, but you better behave. Okay. Max looked like he was about to knock over everything on the TV tray, and he decided to chill out. Madonna, if you're not opposed to doing surveys, I got... There are two survey companies that I work with, or not work with, but I do surveys for that are decent and they're not, they're not, you know, you never have to input credit card information. You never have to, and it's not where you sit there and do an ad or do a survey for an hour just to get disqualified. You actually, I mean, like I cash out on them quite, quite frequently. And one is called QME, Q M E E. And the surveys, they'll tell you up front how much they're worth. And they're usually worth anywhere from like, you know, 10 cents up to, I've seen some that have been like a dollar or something. But you can cash, I mean, you could do your first survey and get 10 cents and you could cash out that 10 cents to PayPal right then. Um, I've done quite a bit with them. And the other one is YouGov, Y-O-U-G-O-V. And... That's kind of a, a slow earner just because I wait to like, to the bigger redemptions. <laughs> oh, Becca, yeah. Yeah, it was raining where I was yesterday. But my cats don't go outside, so it doesn't. They're not messed both by the rain as much. Well, I've made a table. I have got to figure out a way to be able to tighten these bolts. My cats have not encountered a mouse to hunt, but they have hunted. When I we're still living in my sister's house out in the country, lizards would get in the house and they would go after the lizards. And I don't know how many times you know they caught the lizard tail. That one's max.
Oh, Becca, that, yeah, I would have to burn the house down, and, and I'm not sure what, that cat would just never get to go anywhere near where a, cat, where a snake would be. I hate snakes. When I worked at the prison, um, they, we would have, like, emergency drills all the time. And especially on evening shift and night shift, you know, you'd get bored. And so the, um, especially if the lieutenant got bored, you know, we'd run a drill. And we had one, one time was a missing officer drill. So our lieutenant went and hid somewhere and we had to go and hunt and find him, you know, in areas where we were assigned. And so I'm on, I'm on one of the housing units. But I was on the housing unit closest to the education building. So I got to also go and also where they had the, um, the little tent for the sweat lodge ceremonies. So I got to go inspect those. And, you know, every so often they would go in and they would just do um, the officer welfare checks where they'd go through every yeah, they may eat, eat the slugs and snails, but I still am not touching them. Um, but you know, they do. They would do radio checks where we have check in, make sure you know that we're okay. And so I'm, and this is in the summer, and it's summer evening, so you know, it's starting to cool off a little bit. And I, we go by, I go by the education department, <coughs> excuse me, the education building, and there is this concrete walkway where you've got the building on one side and this little retaining wall about, you know, four feet on the other side. So you've got this little, almost like a little half tunnel type thing to go through. And it's nice and cool and a little bit damp with there. And I'm walking and it's just past dark. So I'm out there with a flashlight and I come across the body of a snake. I can't see the head and I can't see the tail. It's that freaking long. So I do what any Nelly little queen is going to do. And I shriek. And I shriek loud, like from my housing unit to the furthest housing unit was probably a quarter of a mile away. They heard me. Tower heard me. They weren't sure where it was coming from. They just know that they're running a drill and suddenly they hear somebody shrieking and that's not normal. So they go to a welfare check and it goes numerical order on the radio. And my unit was unit six. So I was what my radio call. So I was one, six, one. So they get to mine and I'm like, one, six, one, ten, four. You know, and I'm, my voice is just shaking. I am freaking out. I'm trying to get away from the snake and I'm surprised they didn't wet my pants. I'm, you know, and they didn't believe me because my voice, were, I'm like, I finally like managed to get into like one, six, one. I said, it's, I said, I just found a snake. So yeah. So yeah, I got tormented for a long time over that, which I didn't care because they didn't torment me with a snake. They did send someone up to catch a snake, and it was a huge one. But, um, yeah. See, I'm not a fan of snakes. Uh, one time I was at my sister's house. Not not when she lived in the kind of, she Well, she still lived in a kind of rural area, but it wasn't way out rural, like we're is close to where we grew up childhood. And her son, I mean, so he was only like 18 months old at the time. So it was a while back, but we thought he picked up an electrical cord was playing with it and figured it was a snake. So she threw, you know, she grabbed him. We threw like a phone book on it. I'm standing on the phone book. Hi, Nancy. I bet you're freezing cold, Ontario. But so I'm standing on this phone book that's on top of a snake that's my or that her son was playing with in the house. We know what to do. So she's trying to call my dad because he lives, you know, just like half a mile away. Can't get a hold of him, and she's trying to figure out what to do. And she ends up calling the cops. So the cops come out there, and all this whole time I'm standing on this phone book because if we move, the snake starts moving. We're trying to, you know, keep it contained. 
because we don't know what it is, just that her son was playing with it and we don't like snakes. The cops were afraid of the snake. They called animal control out for the snake. That turned out to be a common garden snake. But I felt bad knowing that even the cops were afraid of it. Because I figured if the cops were afraid of it, then I definitely had a reason to be afraid of it. Okay. One down, six more to go. Get my picture back. Hi, Craft Kentuckian. I am building a shelf for my yarn and talking about the times I've been tormented by snakes. Because I am pretty much a chicken. I, I was an Anunnaki. I, the one, I can't pronounce it, but welcome. So, you know, we're all going to have to give Noni May grief for missing yet another one of my live streams. really is a million nuts and bolts. You would think that with that many nuts and bolts, this bag, they put that many nuts and bolts, but they can't manage to give me written instructions. Nurse is a devil now. She's got a blue dress. Okay, yeah, the water running, that's the cat's water fountain. I didn't realize I'd actually be able to hear it. Sorry about that. Okay, this back can go on. Really, little miss? Can anyone else have a cat that likes to eat tape? Hi, Ryan. I watched your heart. I just lost the bolt in the thingy. Where did it go? I just watched your um, video, the, the heart attack video.
your dog eats shoes. Isn't that what like every dog eats? Today I am doing nothing, which apparently is a lie, because I am building a yarn shelf that didn't come with instructions. Came with 6,000 nuts and bolts, no instructions. It is a seven shelf rack. They call it a muscle rack, but it's just like a storage rack that I want to put my yarn on because that stack of totes is most of my yarn. I've got two bags of yarn on the other side. And I thought putting it in clear totes, I'd be able to, you know, see what I have, but I still miss, um, you know, there's still yarn that I forget that I have just because I can't always can't see everything. Knock everything over, trying to move this around. And Niles is just sitting there in the corner, judging me. Laughing at me like he always does. Niles is the perfect roommate, though. Doesn't eat much. Never hogs the bathroom when I need to take a shower. Yeah, I'll be able to get to a yarn easy. And I've got some shelf dividers coming so that I can kind of help you know, organize it on there. And I also, I'm, I cashed in my points on another, on YouGov and am getting an Amazon gift card. I'm going to use that gift card to um, get a, it's a modular wire rack system that I've, I've had one before and I really like it. You can put it in kind of, in all these different shapes. I am Kentuckian. I just, I'm, I'm not familiar with you enough yet to, um, to make you a mod, I've only seen you a couple times. Hey, Jamie. And the way this is positioned is not the easiest way to get the. Um, it's not the easiest to get to all the um, nuts to get it tightened properly. So that's going to be the fun part of going when I'm done. It's getting everything completely done. Oh, welcome, Jamie. Yeah, this is a, this is only my second live, so you you haven't missed a lot. Right now, I'm 
putting together a shelf for my yarn and I'm, I'm complaining the entire time that they sent me 6,000 nuts and bolts and absolutely no instructions. Thankfully, I do have, I did find one picture of the shelf put together that was in an email of the actual, of just a confirmation, shipping confirmation. Not even a picture of the item on the box, not even a drawing. need a ratchet set but I haven't ordered one I haven't got one of those yet that's on a list of things I want and having a ratchet set would make this a lot easier but my eBay tool set and my Dollar Tree pliers Seem to be doing halfway decent. Yeah, this life is a lot going a lot better than my last one. The last one, I was just so awkward. I didn't know what to do. And this one, I'm just like, yeah, I got to put my shelf together. Y'all can watch me or not. So, And I appreciate you guys sitting here watching me be all clumsy and uncoordinated with tools. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to start trying to build up kind of a stock of things that I make. Oh, you're, you're fine, Adele. I tend to like lurk in other people's lives too, so I get that. Yeah. But no, on my Facebook page, I want to eventually get up, you know, more um, samples of stuff that I make so that people can buy them if they want. Sheep dogs. Those are big ones. Dogs too, but I just I'm not social enough for a dog. So I like my cats. They could they are they are just as selectively social as I am, and we do pretty good about getting you know being social, having this you know, it's the same level of sociability at the same time.
guardian dogs. Wow. Are those the ones that look like they're about the size of a bear as well? Because I've seen some, now those are the Tibetan mastiffs that I'm thinking of. I prefer big dogs to little dogs because I think little dogs have that little man syndrome, which makes them unbearable. You helping little miss? crafty. I'm working on a luminance cow that I'm doing. I'm actually doing it for a tutorial that I'm making, but um, so I'm making myself a cow as well. Uh, the mine's just a basic you know, just a base, you know, ba uh, basic cow. No fancy stitches or anything. Hey, Charlene, I didn't see you come in. Yeah, my, <coughs> excuse me. This isn't even the, the fancy yarn shelf I'm wanting. The, the one, one I'm wanting, I've got to wait for my um, card from YouGov to show up, but it's a modular wire rack that's almost like, um, Um, I was like the milk crates. But that is still waiting for the Yuga card to show up before I can order it. Back post and front post double crochet. I did a the Wanderlust scarf. I don't remember who put that one out. I did that for Chuck. His hat and scarf had the front post double post crochet. That was to I sort of doing those two rows took longer than the whole rest of the scarf combined. I mean it looks nice. It takes forever. I couldn't knit the first 500 times I tried. It felt like I started, I couldn't crochet either. I was so, I'm so tight with everything that I couldn't get the end, the hook back in after doing the initial chain. I had to start with loom knitting and that kind of helped a little bit. I mean, I could see, you know, kind of how loose the stitches are supposed to be sometimes and kind of just got the feel of things and, after loom knitting for a while, then I was suddenly able to hold knitting needles without poking myself in the eye. So hi Granny D. Yeah, can I borrow your daughter's? That sounds so wrong. I would definitely only want them for their assembly.
But Donald, I'll have to look into it. Yay, we have two shelves. I think I did that wrong. That's fixable. Get in there. Oh, come on. In there. Ha. I don't have to figure out what these parts are for later. I think they go on the outside part. I really wish they would have sent instructions. Yeah, they were calm for a while. Usually they're they have their the morning. Um, crazies and then they calm down for a while and then they pick up their crazies again in the evenings but um, okay come here little miss well, this is little miss no name hey say hi yep she wants to play I found her, we think she was about four, four weeks old. <coughs> I found her in our mailbox. Now, our mailbox, this was one that, a big one that was sitting on the ground. And that UPS and, you know, USPS would stick our packages in. And we don't know if someone dropped her off or if, you know, mama just lost her while she's moving her or what. But I had her since she was about four weeks old, and she will, she still does it. She will sit there and suck on my finger. Um, and so, you know, of course, you know, when I got her, she was young enough. I didn't have to bottle feed her, but I did have to give her the kitten milk replacement. Oh, the shelf parts. Yeah, I think these go on the side of the shelf, what it looks like on the picture. I just can't enlarge the picture very much. Like I have it enlarged as the size of a like my thumbnail. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Oh, no. Okay. I see where they are. Okay. So that's the back of the shelf. And these are the front. I think. Okay. Okay, so I now officially have
trying to figure out if, if the show they're supposed to be alternating. Hi, Sabrina. Um, because some of them they have a hole, you know, a drilled hole on one side, and on the other side has two drilled holes. And so I don't know if they all need to be facing the same way or if I need to alternate them, but those I can I figure get it mainly put together and then I can adjust. Hi, Kim. Okay, I know that you can't, it's not actually showing you what's actually in it, but that little white square, that's literally the size of my thumbnail, is my picture. Yep, the box is made in China. I mean, the shelves are... Oh, I thought there for a moment that I put them on upside down, but nope, they're right side up. I'm just looking at the thing upside down. Thanks for stopping by, Granny. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> and as far as the coughing and the weird stuff on the voice, I'm allergic to dust, which means I'm screwed on allergies. And it's like going to Mexico. My body forgot what it's like to deal with allergies. And so I get to until it remembers that, oh, yeah, I've lived in Oklahoma my whole life. You know, it knows what this is. It's going to act up. I probably should actually start taking Claritin again, but I don't ever seem to notice a difference on Claritin, but I think it's one of those that I just notice when I'm not on Claritin. Hi, Bridget. I get this one done and I'm halfway through.
have the hardest part now is going to have to get done with this is going to be figuring out where to put it. <coughs> Depending on the height that might go right there. Because that's the light switch for the ceiling fan and the ceiling light. And I never, I use a ceiling fan occasionally. I never use a ceiling light because it's yellow light, like that soft white. And I hate the yellow light bulbs. And they're not the typical, they're not candelabra size and they're not normal light bulb size. And I just haven't got around to replacing them, but I have two lamps, floor lamps that I use. Jamie, I probably could, although once I got to looking at the, the pictures, I think it's it's easier than I thought at first. I just was severely overwhelmed by the size of the bag of nuts and bolts. Come on, get in the hole. I mean, this whole bag was full. Yeah, I've got pictures of, um, see, I know it's kind of dark there, but I've got all those photos there. And I, if I put the shelf there, then I'd have to um, move all those photos and it would be easier just to pick a different spot for the shelf. Hopefully it will fit there under the TV. When I hung the pictures, my desk was there, but then I moved the desk over where I could have um, an electrical outlet close to it. trip over my own feet. Oh, you go ahead and lurk, Becca. That's what I tend to do is I will open someone's live stream. And if I, you know, I'm usually almost always multitasking.
Okay. We're halfway there. Now I've got that song stuck in my head. I got something from Overstock. I don't remember ordering from Overstock. Oh, this is my yarn cutter pendant. This is one of the other things I redeemed. And with the same place where I got this is It is a yarn. It's a pendant where you cut your yarn with it. I'm sure it's probably backwards for you guys, but. The built-in blade cutter yarn and thread can be easily and safely cut in any groove. Ah. Uh. I like that. That means I don't have to, I have those little scissors that are super pointy on the end um, that come with a little cheap plastic case that they stab through immediately. So that will be nicer than um, carrying the scissors around that poke me all the time. This is it as a wire connector. The wire connector is a necklace. I don't know if y'all be able to tell what it is. It is a steampunk cat with little goggles on. problem with not having fingernails. Get in there. There you go. Set that over there so I don't get too sidetracked. Do you double over two or one? We will go with two, and I can always still bolt if I need them later. If 
I like that phrase, hooker candy. That is a clover one. It's clover brand. That's the first time I'd ever seen one, so. Hey, Rosalie. I have your latest video in my, there goes crackhead kitty. Um, I have your latest video in my watch queue to watch. Why am I using a screwdriver when I have a drill? So much for the work smarter, not harder. Hey, scrap, scrap a dap a do. Holy hell. You guys okay? See why I call them crackheads? This is a shelf for my yarn. Might go a little faster now that I remember that I have power tools. What happens? That was my cats being crackheads. And I think they startle themselves sometimes. And then they just make it's like when you can see a cat that gets a bat uh, trapped with a garbage sack or not a garbage sack, but like a Walmart sack, the handle around their neck. And they won't stop running long enough to for you to help them. I think I forgot which one I was tightening and missed that one. A file splitter? Are you talking like computer file or? 
Oh, I've got one of those laser things, and they know they know where it, where it comes from, but they still go crazy over it. They have an automatic one now that you sit down, and it just runs a laser in corners and circles around them. I want one of those because I'm lazy. I saw a video somewhere online of someone they took a laser pointer but, and they taped down the button so that it was. Sabrina was talking about a file splitter. Um, but they taped down the button so that the laser pointer stayed on and then they hung it from their cat's keychain or the cat's collar. So, yeah, the, the cat went a little crazy over it. I thought that was kind of fun. Do you need to shrink it just like to mail it or because I know that you, I mean, there's always, you know, zipping a file. Yeah, I can't imagine having to try and catch the cat when it's done to, you know, to rescue it from the, the crazy dot. I think it's funny to watch them when they get the butt wiggle going and you know they're about to pounce. It's not so much fun when they're sitting on my legs and they do that because you know they're, they're digging in with their claws for traction. I've never heard of wetransfer.com. I usually just, if it's got, if it's too big and I'm sending it to someone else, I usually just stick it in my Google Drive and share them. Share the files that way. That's actually how I get my um, YouTube videos from my from my phone to my laptop to upload them. Because it's easier to upload them from the laptop than I do the editing on my phone. Two megabyte too big. Can you put it into Google Drive and then share a link that way?
Yep. Sabrina, you're one of my devils with the blue dress on. <laughs> you're welcome. I still say try doing it, uploading it to the Google Drive. <coughs> and then you can share a link to someone and they can download it from the Google Drive if, if that's how you're, if you're just trying to send it to someone. Bags getting emptier, yay. Oh, son of a. That was smart. Hi, Kim. I'm about done with the easy part of the shelf. I'm back to the... Um, hard part of getting the actual shelf shelves on. Maybe it won't be so hard now that I remembered I have a drill. It's a shelf to organize all my yarn. Oh, I got four more shelves to put on, not three. I thought I was halfway done. Come on, phone. Okay.
in back here. Right here. Yay, art. Art by Adrian. Watched your Walking in a Winter Wonderland and yesterday. I am so far behind on videos. Yeah, you guys can do the granny square challenge. I'm doing the no instruction assembly challenge. <laughs> no worries, nurse. Sometimes I wish I had magnet fingertips.
Hey, welcome back, Nancy. Kim's back too. Tighten it when I getting washcloths. I need to do that. I've been working on that some of my yarn I got from Mexico. And it's super tiny when I started working with. So the, the knit pattern that I was going to do, I decided okay, I'm just need to work get used to doing the yarn. So I'm just just doing single crochets, but look how, see how tiny that yarn is? It calls for a size three hook. Yeah, I've got three millimeter straight ones, but they <coughs> the pattern that I was using, and I was going to end up making my washcloth like that big, and I figured I wanted one a little bit bigger than that. Welcome back, Jamie. I need to learn C2C. Um, I haven't got around to it yet. If I made anything with the yarn from back in the day, I made um, scar some scarves and some hats, but that's part of the thing is because why I wanted the shelves is because I keep forgetting everything that I have.
Yeah, that yarn, the label for that yarn said to use, uh, that I showed said to use uh, size three. No, I'll have to look for it, Rosalie. I didn't know you had one. I swear I'm still in here. Yeah, I've got scrap plastic. I've got more another like a modular wire thing that I need for my yarn. This is just to get it started. And just because the yarn has a shelf, you know, you still have all the other stuff that goes with the yarn that needs its own shelf. Get in the hole. Dang it. I'm saying get in the hole an awful lot for a guy that's been single for as long as I have been. Plus, you know, I've got diamond painting kits that I need to put up somewhere because, you know, I, I do like to work on them too. I just don't get to, I don't, haven't been doing it as often lately. I've got a custom one at, that's of my cats. I always feel like my nose is running because it's cold and it's not. It's, and the company where I ordered the custom one sent me an email that I guess they're having another sale on customs at like 82 or some weird percentage off. Are you for or against?
We're going to talk about diamond paintings. Hang on. My Don slip socks are sliding. These are my diamond painting kits that I haven't got to yet. eBay is your friend for diamond paintings. Go in there, go on the auction section, and I sit there and we'll, I'll find the ones I like and we'll bid on them with a, usually do like a max of um, three, or if I really like it, I'll put a max of four. Yeah, I, I've looked at AliExpress. I've not bought anything from them yet. Um, <coughs> I think probably is because the things that I've looked for so far, I've been able to find cheaper on eBay. I've only been doing them about a year. Because when I first started hearing about them, I wasn't sure what to make of them. And I used to review for companies, and so I'd get all kind of free stuff. And that's where I got my first one. And that first one took me forever because I would do it where I would just go by row by row, like they tell you in the instructions. And it would take forever because you're swapping back and forth between the uh, little plastic pieces, the diamond chips, and the resin, whatever they call them. But, and then I finally got where I just said, forget that, and would do all of the whole thing all of one color. And... I like it better doing it all of one color and then going to the next instead of staying just in one section. And to me, they're like, it's like adult coloring and um, the next level coloring. And I mean, I get the same relaxation doing them that I do from coloring. Plus I actually, I'm not going to hang my coloring sheets up on the wall, but I'll hang my, um, my diamond paintings on the wall. I've got, you can see past the lamp. I've, those two pictures right there. One is the, the very first one I ever did, the skull. And then one is, um, you know, an off brand Iron Man. Okay, excuse me, little miss. Good, my furry little terrorist. Nancy, I just learned about that within like the last month, and um. So I've started doing it, and I actually I like it. It looks so much nicer. The you see, it just it just that right there. It just looks so much nicer. And with that knitting class that I took. At the Votech, the one that was, it was a six-week course. It was once a week for six weeks, but <coughs> I don't remember them saying anything about it. I mean, she might have, but I still remember it. But the lady that teaches the um, 
the one day courses or that I take at Joanne's every so often. And it's funny. She always messes with me when she finds out that she's teaching a class and it's me because if I don't, um, if I sign up before that, ask telling her first, um, but yeah, she's the one that taught me about it. Yeah. Keep your eye on the road. Yeah, I agree. It looks so much nicer and I like it. Everything, my knitting stuff so much better now that, you know, the edges are looking nicer because as I, I think somehow accidentally my, you know, stitching or my tension where throughout the whole thing is always been fairly nice. Um, but I never could figure out the edge and making it look decent. Two, three, four. Two shelves left. That was fun. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to find that nut I lost. One, two, three, four, five. Starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Of course, the fun part is actually putting it. I don't know that it's going to go under the shelf TV just because it's going to be too tall. Uh, it'd fit, but I wouldn't be able to use the top shelf. So I'm going to stick it in the corner back there. The fun part is getting to unpack all the yarn. Yes, please hit the like button, guys. I appreciate it. Although, actually, I've had 17 people in here and 24 likes, so y'all have been doing good. Oh, you are it out. Do it on, or do, um, do it on camera. Fun as I'll watch you. That's always fun, too. And Nancy, which one was it, the, the light-colored one or the dark-colored one? The dark-colored one is maximum effort. I call it Max or MaxiCat. And I'm going to thank my sister for the MaxiCat nickname. She's the one that made the comment. Um, and Little Miss No Name has her name because I couldn't get... Um, I couldn't get her 
I couldn't come up with a name for her for the longest time when I found her. And like I found her and was at the vet the very same day I found her. And so they had her on um, her name at the vet. Her official name was TBD for to be determined for the longest time. And it just got where I kept calling her Little Miss No Name just because the TBD and then it stuck. Scrap it, Appadoo. If you let us know one of these times in one of the lives that you're going to start one, and then we'll all go over, you know, follow you over there until you have you'll have people right there. Because I had that, um, you know, I had someone. Of course, I accident. I didn't mean to go live the very first time I did it, but I had someone in there right off the bat, and it helped a lot. And yeah, I was awkward as get, I'll get out my first one. This one's a lot easier because I'm doing I'm doing the shelf, and you know. I kind of think it's like, okay, I'm, I'm building a shelf. Y'all can watch me or not. Welcome back. Um, and you already out. Yeah, I have, I, I understand the whole headache and that sucks. I'm surprised with the way our weather, the weather change I've had going from Mexico to here. And then we've gone from super cold to almost shorts weather and then back to like cold and dreary in a week. And I'm surprised I haven't had any migraines from that. I'm sure you want to look at my butt. Hi, Kelly. Yes. Um. Eighty by thirty-two by thirteen centimeters. And translate that for me. Well, then, I mean, this is as tall as it gets. So, five feet ish. This is the last shelf. Yay.
Yeah, this is my um, for yarn. And I think that's what's actually on the inside. Yarn, diamond paintings, yarn notions. The little cubby squares like you can get at Walmart. I wanted to get those, but I also found some it's a wider cubbies that are modular so you can kind of change the shape and whatnot. The Amazon has they have some 12, like a 12 row and a you know, a, you know three or three by four or they have a three by three, a three by four, four by four, and I think a four by five. So from nine up to twenty. And I'm just waiting for my reward card from YouGov to come in so I can order them. Yeah, that I have like my little plastic cubbies that they're good. I mean, but my problem with them being like that is I just can't see what I have. And so I keep forgetting what yarn I have. But I've been doing a lot of the, on the smaller projects, you know, before I went to Mexico, I was doing a lot of the amigurumi stuff with the yarn I was getting from eBay.
one more of these, two more of these, and these left. I keep coming and checking the videos every so often. Oh, the tattoo on my wrist is a barcode. I used to read a lot of science fiction. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was always, um, you know, and near dystopian, you know, near future dystopian societies, people had to get barcodes as, you know, how they were tracked and whatnot. And I just thought it was, you know, I liked reading. I, li I like to stop dystopian novels. And so that was where I got to the tattoo. Holly Mistletoe, yeah. My shirt is a lie today. But this isn't work. This is fun because it's for my yarn. Yeah, tattoos are quite addictive. Hey, breathing nurse, tell me the next time you're at a stoplight and can look at your TV at the screen. Oh, that's neat, Holly. Do you know what, what you're going to get yet? Hey, Sabrina. Hey, uh, breathing nurse. Let me know when you're at a stoplight or somewhere where you can actually look at your screen. Yeah, the cats are, they are going nuts. Okay, look at this tattoo. Did you read it? If someone working in healthcare, I figured you would find it amusing. Oh, that's awesome, Kelly. Yeah, my. My sister, um, the one that I went to Mexico with, she had breast cancer. She had thyroid cancer and breast cancer. I have six of these. One, two... And I have a couple of these shelves pointing backwards, but I'm not fixing it. Um,
I might fix it. One, two, three, four. Two on the sides and four on the back. The nurse, in Oklahoma, when I got the tattoo done in Oklahoma, all it took was a clear and convincing argument outside of the healthcare facility that you didn't want CPR and they wouldn't do it. Um, I actually have a signed DNR, but I also have a power of attorney that he has the he has the power to override my DNR if the doctors think that it would be a like in an accident or during surgery. You know, I always revoke my DNRs before surgery, but um, I still have power of attorney. I said if I'm out of it and you and I can't make a decision, it's on him. He can do whatever he wants at that point. Hey, Holly, what tattoos does she have? Great. Don't eat the nuts. Hey, so don't eat it. Crackhead. I'm watching you, so you dare. But me dropping the shelf, or me calling him, telling him not to eat the nuts.
Hey. What are you eating paper for? How awesome. I have a Celtic knot on my, uh, right here on my leg. It's supposed to be a cover up. No one told me that it, they didn't tell me that a Celtic knot was not a good cover up. My shelf is pointing backwards. Hey, Freaky!
I'm asleep. You can stay in the water bowl for a minute. Hey, Donna Whiting. Okay, I don't know who what you want from me, Tulsa. Hey, Cindy. Been together too long, my back's getting tight. Ouch.
I have the holes on the wrong way. It's slanted. Geometry was never my best subject. Probably because the geometry teacher hated the band and choir students. She had no problem with the football and basketball players missing class to go to sports related stuff. But she hated it if any of the arts people missed class. Never mind that our band probably could have beat our football team in playing football. I have one more shelf I have to flip.
I don't have OCD, but I have OCPD, which is Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder, which basically just means I like patterns and rules. And things have to make sense. Which is why all my holes have to be pointing the same direction. So I would be done by now if I didn't have to make it match. Hi, Handmade. How in the world they're all the same length okay
Three's not all the way up. Or this one. I still got one corner to do, but I couldn't get the thing to go from. And that's it. There is just nowhere that these fit that one. Level says they're level. There's more space between these two, but that's just because I wanted one offset, and I knew um, the rest of the other ones are all even. But the level says they're straight. going to do how in the world did that one fit and none of the rest will hey look I'm missing a bolt oh that's because I was I guess it could go on. Wonder if that would fit. Yeah, and now I have a a level, and it's showing them all level. Maybe it is the angle. I don't know, but. I'm just putting these on for bracing.
Have fun, Freaky. Thanks for stopping in. This is the last bolt. I have two nuts left. <coughs> Shouldn't we all have? All guys have two. Anyway, one of us in the um, litter box. Not litter box. The cat water bowl. Guys, I'm done. I did it. I have one bolt left over. I'm hoping that was just an extra one. Because I don't see any. I have one nut left over, not one bolt. I think I did it. And it only took me two hours and 52 minutes. <laughs> and it technically will see. Oh, nope. I've got another bolt. 
And I've got one bolt, two nuts. I'm hoping they just gave extras. See, technically it would fit. That does look slanted now. I think I'm going to take those back brackets off because I think those all slanted it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end up taking these little pieces off because it was doing fine prior to me adding those. I may play around for a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's been, we're coming up on three hours. That's longer than I expected any of y'all to hang around. So. <clears throat> and all my, my European friends need to get their rest. So, and it is almost five o'clock my time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the live. You guys have a good evening.